Hello folks, it's Mark with Launchpad B and I'm coming in today with a ClipChamp.com tutorial. And today's tutorial is to talk about a new feature that they've added and it's called a branding kit. Now this is available for business and business platinum members only. So you have to have one of those higher end subscriptions. Uh, if you want to try it out though, I do have a coupon code below that's good for an entire month of free platinum. So you want to try it out, see if you like it, give it a shot. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in. I want to explain what the branding kit is. On the bottom left hand corner over here, you will have a icon that says brand kit. And when you click on that, you're going to get three options. You're going to have the ability to add a custom font, to add a custom color, and then to also add your logos. Now this is going to be beneficial to anybody who is running a small business uh, or is trying to get themselves some kind of a brand represented online. Okay, so like to give you an example, take a look at Best Buy's brand guidelines. If you ever create content for Best Buy, they're going to provide you with the colors that they're using, the logos, and also the fonts that they use for all of their content. What we're going to be doing here on the branding guide is setting up a font. We're going to be setting up your text and we'll also be setting up your logo. So that's what they're giving us here. Now, if your business or your brand doesn't have a color scheme yet, there's a few ways you can go about getting one. You can hire a professional or you can use some of the online generators. They'll basically take a look at a photo that you provide or a logo and we'll create a color scheme. So for example, I'm going to use a website that's called imagecolorpicker.com. Now, I don't know a lot about this site. I just found it online and gave it a shot. Thought it was pretty cool and I'm sharing it. So I'm not necessarily endorsing it because I am not familiar with them. I do know they'll let you make a free account and then give it a shot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the area where it says use your own image and I'm going to select that. And then from there, we're just going to basically drag and drop the image. Now, I already have my own logo here. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that in. So now that I loaded my logo in there, it's going to provide me with this color palette here. And these are all the colors that they're suggesting that I use for my color scheme. And you can tell they kind of have the same theme or the same color going there. And once you establish your color palette, you can go ahead and just download by clicking here. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download it as a code, which will basically save it in text in a notepad. Here's what it looks like. And what this does is these are the hex numbers for all the colors that we have there. And I'll show you how to use those. Now to give you another example, let's go ahead and look at another image here. So I'm going to go ahead and select where it says use another image and we're going to pull another image in. This is the image I want to use. That's actually me. I was doing some kind of a fun photo shoot and I think it'd be fun to be a businessman with a lucha mask on. So yeah, don't make fun of me, but I really enjoy doing this. So if we go ahead and we drop this image in, it's going to go ahead and create a color scheme for us again. And if you look at that color scheme, it's pretty cool. We've got uh, a lot of warm colors, yellows, browns, kind of a beigey color. But then we got this really cool blue that's in here as well as an accent color. So again, you can kind of see uh, that'll help you kind of set up your branding. Now, I wouldn't necessarily go with that many colors. Uh, you want to definitely pick like maybe the top two colors that you're going to use, maybe use the blue as an offset. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily mix all of that in onto a website or something all at once anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to download this as well. So now that we got the color scheme downloaded, we're going to go ahead and load it into ClipChamp into the brand kit. So here I'm going to go ahead and select where it says colors. Now I will say that I already have the palette for the logo that I showed you a second ago. You can also add additional palettes. Now being able to use multiple palettes is going to be beneficial for creators, especially people that are working for multiple clients. That means you can load a brand kit for different clients in there and it'll save it for you. You're not stuck with only using one, which is pretty cool. And I appreciate ClipChamp doing that for us. So let's go ahead and load the colors. We're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign here. And what I'm going to do is open the download that I did. And what we're going to do now is basically we're going to copy and paste the hex numbers here. When you get it loaded, hit the plus sign again and then just repeat with the next color. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed it up just so you don't have to watch me do this repetitively and let's jump forward. Okay, so at this point, we've got all of our colors loaded into the brand guide, which is really cool. And you also have the ability to name your palette. So let's go ahead and go here and let's just call it Lucha. My Lucha mask. Okay, so essentially that is how you're going to create your brand colors. Now the way that you're going to put your colors to use, uh, let's go ahead and drag something in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to where it says text and let's just go ahead and drop in Let's just push this, push through. Let's go ahead and put that in right here. Okay, so you can go ahead and change the text to whatever you want it to be. You guys already know how to do that. Okay, so now that we got the font loaded, now we can go ahead and load our brand colors. So we're gonna select colors at the top. And if you click on the color, you'll actually have your palettes here, your, your brand colors, which is really cool. It makes it nice and easy for us. Let's go ahead and start off by selecting the background. I'm gonna make this nice, uh, let's use this mustard color right here. 
kind of cool, right? Now, when it comes to text, we can select colors, but ideally you want them to be contrasting. So let's go ahead and go with this blue color here. And there you go. So anytime that you're working on Clipchamp and you're adding elements, whether it's words or different things, you can change the colors to match your branding. Now, the other stuff, I'm not gonna spend a large amount of time on. I actually did a video earlier this weekend where I talked about how to load custom fonts in here. If you're interested in seeing that, I will put a link below to that particular video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put the little uh, link up here at the top. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, I'll go ahead and place the link in there if you wanna see how to add custom fonts. There's two options that I show you. One is using the brand kit, the other one is using PowerPoint and exporting it as an image. But you do have the ability to add custom fonts here and we also have the ability to upload a logo. Now you can do your logos or client logos, but the way you're gonna add a logo is you're basically gonna hit the edit button here. You're basically gonna select a button that says add logo and then you're gonna select your logo. Let's say it's this 3D text right here and there's your logo. So basically the brand kit works very similar to this document that I have here from Best Buy that gives you the color scheme, it gives you the font, and it gives you the logo type. It just keeps them in a nice clean little package in Clipchamp so that you can easily access them. So in a nutshell, that is how you set up the initial brand kit. We're gonna cut it there just to keep the video short. If you have any questions about how to set up a brand kit, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer it for you. In addition, if you found the video to be helpful or if you enjoyed it, make sure that you like and subscribe. That way you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest tools that Clipchamp has to offer. Thanks for watching.